Greetings, everyone. Pastor Josiah from the Central States Conference here. I'm delighted to be with you today to share a word from the Lord. Uh, coming to you from Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 through 20. Here's what the Bible says. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Verse 20. And they straightway left their nets, and they followed him. Father God, be with us as we share a word today. Blessed, give it power and life in Jesus' name. Amen. This uh, Today, I want to share with you uh, from the subject, Come Follow Me. Come Follow Me. How many of you remember where you were when Jesus, as the young folk would say, hollered at you and said, Come Follow Me? For me, it was only 27 years ago, only because some of you, it may be longer. For me, it was only 27 years ago. And I remember that night like it was yesterday uh, as I was trying to decide if I should do my master's in business administration, coming from a bachelor's of business administration degree, uh, it, or if I should go into the full-time call of the Lord. I know that you already know, but based on the fact that you are in this space today, and listening to this message means that you heard that call to follow Jesus and you became a fisher of men. And no, it wasn't a career. It was a calling. Some of you may have heard it like Samuel at a young age, but you knew it was the voice of God calling you to serve him. That's right. Or some of you may have heard it as a young person like Daniel or Jeremiah. Or some of you may have heard it as a senior person like Moses. Uh, but you decided to say yes to the call of God because you knew it was his voice. However, what fascinates me about this narrative is the fact that Peter and Andrew not just heard the call of Jesus, but the Bible says that straightway or immediately or at once they left their nets and they followed him. There was no hesitation in their response. There was no hemming and hawing or any follow-up questions or discussions to this call by Jesus. How is that possible? I'm glad you asked. Uh, why did they not ask for time to go and process this calling or consult with their families and spouses as a conference administrator? Even when we offer someone a call, we are understanding to the possibility that the brother or sister may need some time before returning to us with an answer to the call. But in this case, in the word of God, Peter and Andrew were like, let's go, Jesus. How were they able to do that? Good question. Apparently, according to this passage, Jesus was already doing some major work in Galilee before he called them. And the word was already out on this new preacher in town. In verse 17, the Bible declares that Jesus was preaching, repent of your sins and turn to God for the kingdom of heaven is near. Is it possible, ladies and gentlemen, that Peter and Andrew responded immediately to the call of Jesus because they had already heard a word from Jesus? Come on, y'all. They knew he was preaching about repentance. They knew he was preaching about sin and eternal salvation. They may have even heard about it through the grapevine of the Galilean Facebook or Instagram. The word was out on Jesus. And not only was the word out on Jesus, but their hearts knew that this was something different from, a nut, from, from, from any other ministry or rabbinical teachings that they had ever heard in times past. Somehow they must have already been convicted before the actual call came because Jesus doesn't say much. All he said was, come, follow me. But immediately the Bible says they followed him, no hesitation. See, when you know that God is calling you, saying yes to the call is easy. As a matter of fact, when you know that God has called you to this work, you don't even mind staying in the work, listen, and retiring from the work. Come on, say amen. But you never retire from the call. If any of you are like my dad who retired in 2005 after 42 years of full-time gospel ministry, you're still responding to the call. The original Pastor Josiah, as I called him, he's 80 plus years old, but still had a Bible study class until a few years ago that he was running. He still preaches whenever asked. He still does counseling of couples whenever asked. He's still up early in the morning 
during the prayer ban on Tuesdays. He still takes calls from current conference administrators when advice is requested. I told my dad one day, I said, they need to put you back on the payroll. You do so much work. But listen, when Jesus said, come follow me, that, my friends, was lifelong. That was a lifelong call of service. And I'm so glad that one day I heard that call. And you heard that call. And the good news is that one day soon, because you responded to the call and followed Jesus, because you dropped your nets or your bricks or your pens or your bags or your calculators or your chalks, because you became fishers of men and women, boys and girls, one day, the same one who called you to follow him will say, well done, good and faithful servants. You have been faithful over a few things. Now I will make you ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. We praise God that we heeded his words when he said, come follow me. But as Ty Trippett would say, we should live our lives to only hear two words. Well done. God bless you real good. Amen. <laughs>